What is going on, Movie Meals? You look at the title, you've seen us wear sports gear. We're sports fans, along with movie fans, big NFL fans, big TV fans, all the night. So we're gonna talk. <laughs> Hard Knocks. Training camp with the Cleveland Browns this year. The we dog both, pound. We both, the dog pound, baby. Woof, woof. Amen. We, uh, we finished it today, so we're going to we're gonna focus on, on the show and we'll not get into a lot of NFL talk because we, you know, we don't do that here. But, uh, so, Kyle, why don't we start with you? What, do you. what do you like about Hard Knocks? What do you like seeing this year? I know we watched it a couple of years in a row, so what would you, what'd you enjoy? Yeah, when you think about like these football shows, you really think that they're going to talk about the team as a whole, like about their journey, like what their strategies are gonna be. And they really folk, it's not all of that. Like it is nice when they do show all, the, all those aspects, but really they focus on the journeys that some of these players take, whether it's a rookie, whether it's a journeyman, uh, whether yeah. it's like a veteran who people undrafted just wanna get to rookie. know, an undrafted yeah. rookie. Like their yeah. journeys are really interesting. Um, there was a, a lot of them for sure. I mean, Baker Mayfield was obviously one of them. Uh, the backup tight end, uh, Kajus, I believe his name like was. The fifth tight end on the roster. The fifth, yeah, whichever yeah. Devin one. Kajus. Yeah, um, there was Carl Nassib, who was, they talked about a lot. Like there was just so many. Uh, they <laughs> know how to spot like upcoming talent that could possibly yeah. just be like, whether they could be faces or whether could, they could just be guys that root for. And I think. When they find those guys, it really helps stick to the narrative of not only these teams are trying to become like the next big thing for them, but also it really keeps uh, people paying attention to the team as well as to the show. So that way it really catches their attention. So they tell great stories, but they're also smart in being able to uh, get you hooked onto this show. Yeah, Hard Knocks is it's reality TV. It's a it's a drama. It's following the ninety three man roster to cuts to the fifty three. Yeah, and it can get really intense and like. Obviously, guys, spoilers, but if you're watching this review, if you're the three people watching this, <laughs> obviously you're an NFL fan who saw everything. Mm -hmm. like, so it's it's all news that came out before the show even aired. But it was interesting watching the finale because they, they the show does a really great job every year of building up specific players, whether they mm -hmm. are journeymen, they've been there a couple times, or they're undrafted, or because you look at a guy like Kajus, who everybody kind of fell in love with, who who was a journeyman and he'd been on a couple different teams. Yeah. But then they they really built up the two defensive ends, uh, Navson and uh, 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 Orchard, I believe, or yeah, something like that. Yeah. Nate, 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 Nate Orchard. Orchard. And yeah. they really talked that they were fighting the whole show. Mm -hmm. You're they're fighting for a spot. That they're fighting each other for a spot. Yeah. And they're good friends. And they end up cutting both. And so when you see yeah, those that... cuts, you're like, wow. Like as a you get a little drama in you. And when you see that, you I know, know there was one cut that I was shocked by. Which cut? The Carl Nassib cut. Yeah, yeah, and he cut. got picked he up good. by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's the only yeah. one that got picked up, it looks like, so Yeah, far. but that's what you're talking about. It's like you get hooked with these guys because you like following them, and then yeah. when these things happen, because it's part of the business, like you're just like, oh, that's awful. Like, and it's, it, it, makes you, it makes you realize that football is not just this... I mean, it is a brand, but there's also people involved. Like, there's yeah. people with lives who want to jump. Watching the, the coaches, the assistants, like the yeah. assistant who has to call the players and say, hey, unfortunately, you're going to be the one to come in. Yeah, that guy hates playbook. his job. And, <laughs> like, and then you get, you you, you get to see, like, co like, a coach like Todd Haley as an NFL fan. I've never been the biggest fan of Todd Haley. I like him a little more than I used to because of, yeah. because of watching the show and seeing his personality. So, uh, yeah, and there's... Like, I love seeing, I mean, I don't love it because these guys are losing their jobs, but when you go see those cuts, like, it's real. It's mm -hmm. real emotional. And then in past, they've had really intense ones where people have, like, freaked out or really broken down or people yeah. who have gotten on the team that didn't think they were going to make it and they break down in tears. And you see uh, in this one, when they really did build up Devin Kajus, that the player, the fifth yeah, or did. fourth yeah. string tight end, and, and he took it so humbly that, like, when you see, when I saw that, I was like, man, this is a guy to, to live by. This is a role model yeah. to live by because he is struggling. His dad is struggling with medical mm -hmm. issues. And you can tell he could use the money he would make being on an NFL roster to help his dad and everything. But you understand that it's a business. And maybe he, he got hurt a lot in the show. And, you know, he was always struggling with injuries. So I... Yeah, but it, it's hard. It's hard watching those. And you see him yeah. at the end. And he's like, Dad, look at the, the ocean in Cleveland or the mm -hmm. lake or whatever. And... And it, it's just it's 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 brutal. It's well, it's a good show. The Hard Knocks does a really great job with with this. Yeah, it it does a great job of balancing how like these upcomers or these guys that you need to keep an eye on uh, for a roster spot, but they also know how to highlight their stars. I mean, like Jarvis Landry was a perfect example yeah. of that. They knew how to highlight him. Like he was a really big 
uh, importance to this team. Like you can tell, like they want this guy to be a true leader. Yeah. As they I mean, Tyrod Taylor is the same way. Not to like the level of Jarvis Landry, like in terms of personality, maybe. But you can tell, like with the changes that this team has made, thanks to Hard Knocks, like they have a certain focus that they want to go on, and I think they were able to highlight that with and their it, stars. It ends. This show does such a good job of ending misconceptions. Like back in the day, you hear stories of NFL rookies and stuff getting really hazed and things like that. And a lot of yeah. these shows, there's like hazing, but it's like they bought dinner for everybody, or they were duct taped to the goalpost, mm -hmm. or they had to live in an RV together, and the rookie had to keep snacks or something. Like, yeah. So it's it's real interesting to see all that. But it also gives you an in-depth look at, like you were saying, like Jarvis Landry and the speech he gave on this mm -hmm. team that struggled. And you wouldn't get that with Hard Knocks. Uh, some other teams, as I had mentioned before, do <laughs> many versions of this, but never really show that much. It's yeah. really just them talking about the season, but this really gets into it. You get to meet a lot of the wives. Like when you see like the fourth string rookie quarterback that you know wasn't gonna make the roster, but you see his I wife. I rooting for him. I was real. too. And when his wife Better breaks than Drew's down, standard. that's another conversation. <laughs> well, I, I'm guessing we he made. I haven't looked, but I'm guessing he made the practice squad. Yeah, he so, made the team. The no, not Drew, the rookie. Oh, okay. I'm okay. guessing he cleared waivers and made the practice squad. So. He's probably still working with Cleveland. Hopefully he can work his way up to being there. Mm -hmm. But that's what I really love about the show. And I know that Amazon did the one with the Rams where they followed because they were like, instead of the, we're going to follow the whole season. And I don't mm -hmm. I don't think they've done that since. I don't think Amazon did a series after that. The, um, was there was a Dallas ago. Cowboys one, I thought. Or was that last Hulu? Year? Yeah, I thought it was last year. Not see, for the full season, maybe. I don't maybe. remember. I, I'm a big sports fan. I don't see ads for these other shows anywhere. But I see Hard Knocks. Everywhere, Hard like, Knocks I is, see it. Hard it's Knocks a good is show. Well, I don't know if it's the HBO best, knows how to handle their sports stuff. They're coming out with other documentaries about sports that mm -hmm. I'm really interested in. So, yeah, it's reality TV. There's a few things like I kind of wanted more. Like I want to see more of some of the coaches and some of the some of the players and stuff. That's yeah, really my only. There was definitely players I wanted to see more of. I mean, they didn't even come close to talking about like their backfield i mean there was nick chubb who got drafted yeah they Carlos really they, they, yeah, they left a lot of those guys off um they they left out denzel ward who was the new quarterback that they got in like the first round i was very surprised he did by get that. hurt too. josh gordon they didn't highlight a lot of but i understand he also why. wasn't there yeah he was <laughs> to he, be filmed he was going through a lot of, or not, i don't know how much he was going through but he did have to go through some things so he wasn't able to attend all their yeah. camps at the time and i also uh, think that personally he probably didn't want to be involved as much since he is trying to didn't want all get that back attention into, on him yeah. yeah so and that makes sense so like that him makes sense i do wish it was more but i get it yeah i'm with you there mm -hmm. uh anything else you got on i think i've said everything i want to see more of the browns old line coach just give me a series of <laughs> i want him to be his my own grandpa. sitcom <laughs> he was so funny we didn't win world war Two by uh stretching we didn't win it we won two world wars Nobody stretched any one of the players. Jumping jacks and push-ups. You, you hear one of the players being like, well, the, they weren't worried about pulling a hammy <laughs> in World War One and Two, And it's, and then one day he's yeah. like, I've never had a real job. Flew planes, got all the women I wanted, and then I... Like, like, I that's mean, what he said. He's he's like, I got all the girls, all my friends were like, oh, what's going on? And then I went right into football. And you're like, <laughs> this guy, I want this guy to just tell me stories and I just want to hang out Just with tell him. me everything you Show know. Show me more of that. But yeah, that's, that's all I got. You got anything else? I uh, The one more thing about Hard Knocks I wish they do address as well. I kind of wish that they did a little bit more um, of the behind the scenes stuff, like when it comes to the coaching staff or how they plan things out. But that's yeah. also kind it of top needs, secret stuff yeah. too. So that may just be a personal gripe I have, but it's it's an understanding. Because I, I really they do, do it they do it a little. Like they just show the coaching room butting heads every once in a while and just going yeah. through the motions. But it felt like it was just filler to go from one storyline to the next. Yeah, it's really interesting to see how they talk. And so I get that. Yeah. And it's really interesting to see sometimes how the players and the coaches talk. Like, they show that like they show that a bit. Too, like guys, yeah. I'm gonna act it out. Pretend you're a coach. This is sometimes what'll happen. So I'm gonna go off camera for a second. <laughs> so you'll hear you'll hear this or something. You'll hear like, oh come in, you're the coach, and you're like, hey, hey, hey Alex. And, uh, how and you then doing, I sit down Jeff? and you're like, well, we're letting you go, unfortunately. And I'm like, yeah. oh, all right, uh, hey, it was a pleasure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Thank you for yeah, the opportunity. Right. And then I think like. <laughs> There's, there's like, like just nice about at it. some point there's one of them is like thank you they have a, like a real conversation sometimes it's literally like oh okay like or when they brought and you're just like where's the middle ground where they just screamed at yeah there, <laughs> there are funny moments too where like they brought in Drew Stanton and and um and Baker, uh, Baker Mayfield yeah. and he's like well I just wanted you two to know Baker will be number two 
And he literally said, they sit down. Drew sits down. He hears, Baker will be number two. Drew, will you let me talk to Baker? And Drew's like, okay. And he just gets <laughs> up with me. He literally sat down, got up, and left. And it's just, there's, there, it's kind of funny moments in the way that they yeah, talk to like, each other. That is, that is one more point that I want to bring up. They do show moments with decision making for some of these upcoming teams that are trying to do well but do struggle and it does put into, into perspective a little bit about why they don't do that well because their decision making could be very questionable like I think that's an example of like questionable coaching moments of like why do you need to bring in those two guys where it could have just been one-on-one -on -one conversations or just bring in all three of the quarterbacks you know or you know just just stuff like that where you're just... I think that it's, stuff it's, happens on all of the teams, though. If you watch all of least, Hard Knocks episodes of good teams they follow... They but at least but at thing. least for Hard Knocks, they show these struggling teams, and it makes you... It doesn't make you root for them completely. Yes, you do root for them at times. struggling teams. The, they usually do. Yeah, just the last couple of years. They did yeah. the Jets when the Jets beat the Patriots. Uh, did they? Oh, and they, and okay. went to the AFC well, Championship game twice. For the most part, they show this. Because then you get teams. Rex Ryan being like... Being like, oh, why are we eating McDonald's on the field? Oh, that's the, that's, we're yeah, the that's New right. York Jets. Now let's go get a snack. And you're like, <laughs> now let's go just, get McDonald's at McDonald's. You're just like, Rex. <laughs> uh, but no, I do get what you're saying. There, there are some, but I think they're kind of funny. I think they're funny. Oh, moments. they're funny, but you're, it also just gives you that perspective, yeah. that behind the scenes and stuff. And I like, I like when you see the, like, Hard Next does a good job showing you, like, because it's all about training camp when one of the mm. players is like, I wanted to change it up. So the coach puts on, like, he put on a, like, Smooth jazz, jazz for, yeah. Miles Garrett, and then you just hear all the coach stuff finally being like, turn that off! <laughs> or then you, they're, they're playing rap, and some of the guys are country guys, and they're like, We're, I don't want to listen to this, and it's just, it's funny. It, yeah. it brings humor, it brings laughs, brings sadness, brings anger. Like, it's, it's a really good show, and HBO does a really good job. And yeah. HBO allows them to really... It really captures what happens in the locker room because they don't have to censor out the swearing and the things they talk yeah, about sure. and things like that. So, mm -hmm. so I yeah, I really enjoy it. It was it was really funny to me. This is just a little side piece. It was really funny because uh, in the finale they talked about the Khalil Mack trade to the Bears and the Browns <laughs> were interested in Khalil Mack. Yeah, and you hear like one of the assistant coaches or whatever walk into Hugh's office and and he's like, oh yeah, I got it on this TV. Check it out. And, and they're like, oh my gosh, they paid him that much? And the, the assistant coach like sits down and he's like, that's quarterback money. Like, no. <laughs> and it's just funny. Uh, anyway, yeah, any other thing you want to say? No, I'm good. Hard Knocks, you do a great job. We love HBO. We've got other HBO reviews coming out soon. So check those out. Good some tease. shows Good I've tease. finished. Maybe some sharp objects. Maybe. You know? Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> comment below. Let us know. Put put to some NFL predictions. We're big NFL fans. You can throw that in. This makes sense for that uh that this this video. Yeah. And as always, like, subscribe, share, all that great stuff. As always, thanks for watching, mom. See you guys.